Wait, what? Oh, I did not touch that. Come on. Hello my fellow knights, this is Red Knight Turing Knight here and today we're playing Wario Land 4. So before we start, you might ask yourself, Mar Wario Land 4? What happened to Wario Land 1, 2 and 3? Well, the simple answer is the game is the most prettiest of them all. Because and also I like the Game Boy Advance a lot. And also if you're also asking about Wario Land Shake It, then Sorry, Wii games that have motion controls besides shaking your Wii remote aren't gonna be the easiest thing to let's play. So, for the time being, I'm about to play this game because I really think it's cool and so. stuff. Okay, so, uh, I've already actually played it a little bit. Uh, wait, what? Uh, I've actually played this game a little bit, uh, because, yeah, uh, delete data, well, yes, I wanna, oh, okay, fine. I completely clicked the wrong button, because it's been a long time since I've played, a, yeah, anything on my laptop. Uh, because, hey, fun fact, I can finally record stuff on my laptop, which is nice. And oh my god, look at this pyramid. Freaking gold outside and inside. And look, it's the cat that we almost ran over. Warrior is such a little bitch. What the Kitty, no! Okay, Warrior, you can jump. You know, because no one really cares about you. Come on. Oh, look at that, he survived. Now oh, get off your fat ass. Hall of Hieroglyphs. Let's a go. So yeah. This is um yeah. I really do enjoy this game because uh, unlike you know your traditional like Mario platformers, Wario, the entire Wario Land series is pretty effing weird, you know. You know, our basic moveset is the shoulder bash and now picking enemies up because, uh, you know, we got muscle unlike that Mario fella we know. Here you go. So yeah. Chunk him. I mean, chunk him right back. Nice. Bam. Yeah. I like Wario's more aggressive moveset. 
Okay, so we can also sh uh, freaking headbutt everything, but we run super fast. Again, I missed the freaking button. I press A. Uh, I press B. Uh, I press B and not A to jump. Of course, you're gonna do that. That's probably gonna freaking kill me sooner rather than later. But you know. So, what is main point? If you didn't know, is like just being a greedy asshole and collecting every nunch of wealth imaginable. So yeah. We also are able to you know, throw freaking rocks at stuff. Kaboosh. We got the spear guys, which are just, you know, weird. I like the weird designs of some enemies, like, you know. Like, they, you, you can tell they're from Mario. They're, you know, they have, because of, you know, their somewhat unorthodox design. You know, like, distinguishing a Wario enemy and a freaking Mario enemy is like not the biggest problem because you know they have that kind of unique design. They're like more like I don't know, chibier. Like I'm not saying that Goobas aren't chibi, but like you know, chuck him. Yeah. Okay. Also on slides, you can just roll with on in the speed of sound. Boom. So we're not just copying Mario, we're also copying Epping Sonic. Because you know. We can also slam our ass to the ground. Bam! Where's that sign? Charge. And slam dunk everything here. So yeah, how level progression goes, you first have to find this key, duck, ghost thing, and then if when we do, we have to activate the switch and basically get to the beginning of the level as fast as possible. So entire level structures are like a whole circle, you know. You get to the freaking switch, Get back where you start from, and that's basically it. And collect as many cash, as much as cash as humanly possible. The game is always saved when you go back to passage. Okay, no. Cool. So, tutorial level, nothing too hard. Hey. Yeah. Uh, these gems that we usually like collect uh, in freaking chests are like the main collectibles and all that. Oh yeah, these are like mini games, and like when we beat one of these mini games or we'll just play one of these mini games, we basically get like other currency that we can buy in like an in-game shop. So I'm just gonna show this off. Okay. Well, okay, F you too, universe. Oh, F you too! I hit that ball, what do you mean? I... I... What? Okay, fuck you too. Let's see what this is. Let, let's see what this... Okay. It's freaking what? Okay. This old man just sitting there randomly. It was like the dinosaur game whenever you don't have like any connection to the internet and you go to Google. <laughs> That's the type of game that you like always you know the existence of but you never take too seriously. Well let's F and go. We got one coin, dudes. Awesome. Okay, so what? What's up with these pigs? They're glowing. And what's up with this cactus? Why is it so freaking attracted on me? Damn. 
And what the hell, is that like a horse rider? And why is that rock moving? Again, what's up with this cactus? Intoxicated pigs, as you know it. Let's -a go, let's -a go, let's -a, let's -a, let's -a go, okay. Oh, okay, the music's getting a little bit faster. Okay, 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 yeah, let's, let's go, boys. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait, what? Oh, I did not touch that. Come on. Okay, uh, what's next? Oh, I can't even play anymore. Okay. Oh, shit. I'll just show you the last freaking level uh, mini game later. Spoiled rotten. Well, that's me. Okay. So yeah, this is the item shop, and we can get a lot of actual neat stuff here. That's an apple bomb. That's a blast cannon. That's a visor man. Visor man. Why did I say visor man? What the hell? This is a boogle. And here's a smile for you. Oh, that's how. No, that's cute. That's really cute. I want to smile again. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, look how cute this is. So think about. Um, so we're gonna fight. Uh, like the. We're gonna fight like the first boss in the game. And think about these bosses. Is they're like have a time limit to them. And uh, the longer you take to beat the boss, the less rewards you get. So I think in this case I don't think there are any rewards, but you know. Oh fuck. Okay, fuck you too, universe. Okay, I'm. Just... Okay, fudge you. <laughs> I like this freaking mouth of his. <laughs> okay. Die. Die. Okay, we have 28 seconds. Okay, come on. I know I know you're aggressive. I know you're not being yourself right now. Come on. You show me your crazy face. What the fuck? Oh my god. Like, I don't know what I said, like, when it comes to Wario character, uh, Wario enemies, like, they can be, like, cute at one second, and then be super disturbing the other. That's what kind of distinguishes regular Mario enemies with these of Wario. Clear! Let's go! And the passage is opened up. To the fucking pyramid. Except that it's not, because uh, as we will see right now, we have four different levels, actually worlds. And when we complete these worlds, we'll be able to, you know, go inside the pyramid and, you know, get our treasure as we deserve it. And what is up with this old man, seriously? <laughs> like, what the hell? Anyways, uh, let's start with Palm Tree Paradise. Which is, you know, our, like, jungle slash beach world. Every world has their inherent team with it, so, you know. Wait. I really like the music here. It's, like, super good. Like, it doesn't really... It's, it's weird that something in, like, a Wario game would be, you know, something like that, but, like, it's pretty nice. I can completely miss that. Bam. 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 Eat my delicious ass. Okay. Mm. I want this heart. God damn it, I want this heart. Ow. Let's go. 
let's go. So yeah, these collectibles are like the main collectibles and we actually need to find every single of these like... There's like four in every level and we need to find them if we want to fight the boss at the end of the world. So yeah, they're kind of mandatory, which is, you know, whatever. Like, I'm not the biggest fan when collectibles are like mandatory. Like, yeah, sure, you collect something, you should get a reward for that, but, you know, it's kind of weird if it's, like, necessary. <laughs> because then you're, uh, when you don't find everything, then you just have to, like, keep searching the entire level again when you find it. Which, as I imagine, so, there's probably going to be a lot of the times where I just completely zone out and, like, not find anything, and then I'm forced to go on YouTube. And yada yada yada, you get the point. You've watched the Kazi Let's Play. Or, I hope you did. Because if you didn't, that's kind of <clears throat> mean. Boom, a boom, and a boom. Look at this door. And look at these spiny ass freaking guys. Wait, what? Okay. I thought I could pick them up. <laughs> like, I, I actually I had no business thinking about that, but like. I still, I thought I could. And here's our first bonus stage, where we can just... Where it usually consists of us being the shit out of this old fart. That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side again. Let's go. Boom. Bye bye. And ground up pound our way to victory. Yeah. This game's gonna be super fun, actually. I was actually looking forward to Let's Playing a Pokemon Nuzlocke, but since the ROM I wanted to use didn't really work for some reason, I just, like, bailed. You know, maybe some other time when I figure out what's the reason for it not working. Oh, CD! I think that's, like, one of the collectible, like, music tracks of this game, yeah. Pretty nice. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just gonna smash through everything I see, I suppose. Oh, here's our little buddy, the key thing. I still don't know what to call it exactly. Eat. Oh, well, fuck you too. And here's the switch. So, let's get a move on. So, every time when we activate one of these switches, excuse me. Wait, where's the freaking. Oh, I think I missed the gem. I might have missed the gem. Might a slight possibility I missed the gem. Hmm. Weird. Oh, I didn't. The one was that secret. It was like a secret pipe up there, but I didn't know how to actually access it. Weird. Pretty weird if you ask me. I guess I'll check it out, like, right away. See if it's a big deal or not. So, you know, until then, see ya. Oh, here it is! All right. Okay, now I remember. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. That was a good one. Then we activate this green switch. We go up there in the pipe, and we proceed to go up in that one. I just hope. What, I just wonder what it actually is. Like, we collect all the like uh, gems, but. Okay, it's just like a giant diamond, okay. Fair enough. Giant diamonds are really nice too, you know. 
Get back here, you old fart of a man. God damn it, universe. I'm pretty sure he responds up there, so you know. No, he doesn't. Okay, then let's just. Oh, he does. Okay. I'll just get back up. Get back up here. Chuck him right here. Bada boom. Are you serious? Oh, you're effing serious. Nice, and we check him right there. Okay, we just crawl here, move out of the way, old man, and we're out of here. Alright, the secret wasn't necessarily anything groundbreaking, it was just like extra cash, but you know, I'm sure Wario's very happy about that, because he's all about that money. So you know, uh, it's a win-win. And we're gonna go back to the finish line, well, beginning line, in this sense, and we'll be right, you know, done with the episode. I think it uh, was a pretty decent run. If you can tell, I was I'm somewhat awkward a, a little bit uh, during this video because it's been a while since I actually could have commentated uh, with my own, you know, recording my own voice and all that. So it's going to take a while for me to get a bit, a little bit more used to this and try not to sound so awkward. But until next time, my fellow knights. See ya!